The community of Lavendil has been stigmatized by crime and violence. But out of this community, nestled on the hills of the capital city, comes a lot of positives. Aquina Alexander is a 19-year-old who has emerged as one of the positives with a partial scholarship to St. John's University in the United States to study computer sciences for four years. Aquina, a Form 6 student of St. Joseph Convent, Port of Spain, has always been an academic exemplar. I'm going to study computer science with a focus in cybersecurity. Well, honestly, it was my Form 4 and 5 SBA. At that point in time, I really fell in love with programming and how much I learned through writing code. And, and you know, on top of that, I used to watch CSI Cyber. Upon receiving the scholarship, she was faced with a financial challenge. She was unable to pay her first year tuition, which is 30,000 U.S. dollars. And so McCall has committed 5,000 U.S. dollars, which is the first payment that is due this month. Without that payment, I actually would not have been able to start, well, be able to start this upcoming September. And they got in contact with me, I believe. You know, they would have seen me on social media and then they realized that, oh, you know, this is one of my employee's daughter. Despite the negativity surrounding her community, Aquina said she is proud to be from Lavantil. I grew up there and I saw how positive and how uplifting these communities can be. So while other people look down at somebody who came from Lavantil, I was proud to come from Lavantil. And, you know, that was just something that I say never affected me personally because I knew the truth. I knew what these communities really had to offer besides the negative media highlights. After her studies, she wants to gain international experience and return to Trinidad and Tobago, where she wants to start a local technical institute for children. Anyone willing to assist Aquina Alexander can make their contributions to a GoFundMe page at www.gofundme.com. Otto Carrington, CNC3 News.